The big story we're tracking this morning, former Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh has been summoned as an accused in the coal scam case. Dr. Singh has been summoned by the special court and all uh, six will appear before the court on the 8th of April. Dr. Singh held the coal portfolio at the time uh, of the scam. The court has summoned uh, them for offences of criminal conspiracy, breach of trust and under provisions of the Prevention of Corruption Act. Industrialist Kumar Mangalam Birla, former coal secretary PC Parikh, have also been summoned as accused. कि सचिव समेत सब लोगों ने बैठक की है उस समय भी ये सवाल उठे थे कि प्रधानमंत्री को इंट्रोगेट किया जाना चाहिए ये भारतीय कानून की श्रेष्ठता की विजय है कोई कितने भी बड़े पद पर हो अगर अदालत चाहती है या जांच एजेंसियां चाहती हैं तो किसी को भी बुला सकती हैं मैं इसको इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन की और भारतीय जुडिशरी की विजय मानता हूँ Let's get in a word from our deputy editor, Arthur Khan, who's with us live from the national capital this morning. Uh, Arthur, big news here. Prime, former Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh summoned as an accused uh, in the coal case. Of course, uh, even though sources are saying he may not have personally been involved, but the fact that he held the portfolio is uh, a major charge against him. Well, that's right. This is an unprecedented move and court has taken certain interpretation. Uh, of calling uh, for Prime Minister Manmohan Singh, who is known as a person of impeccable integrity, uh, former Foreign Secretary, who's worked uh, uh, a lot in this field, or has also uh, summoned PC Parak, uh, along with uh, uh, eminent industrialist Kobal Mangalam Birla and other officials of Hidalgo. Well, so far the police, uh, the, the interpretation of the court is based on what the CBI has uh, uh, given them. The court would like certainly like to hear uh, from. Uh, Arthur, I'm going to come family. back to you. Hold that thought. We're getting a reaction from Prakash Javrikar. Let's cross line. Yeah. लेकिन ये कोयला घोटाला बिल्कुल कांग्रेस की काली करतूत है और ये सारा एक्सपोज होता रहेगा और हमने पारदर्शी तरीके से किया है उसका किस किस मुंह से वो विरोध करते हैं मुझे लगता है बाकी दल भी समझेंगे सोचेंगे. In English, sir, would you yeah. like to respond? Would you? See today. What is exposed is already was known as a coal scam. It is a Congress scam because the letter used to come from somewhere else from the government. Jayanti Natarajan has already said it. How the letters used to come to recommend or to block the projects. Even in coal, it is well known fact that there was extraneous influence. And therefore, CBI is inquiring. Yesterday, Digvijay Singh in his address said that Manmohan Singh wanted to do auction, but Congress did not allow him. And today, because of this Congress scheme, a Congress scam, now Manmohan Ji, a economist prime minister, had to face the CBI charges. This is, this is. Uh, yet another blot on the Congress, and now all other parties who are uh, unnecessarily siding with Congress, opposing the transparent auction, will also reconsider their stand. I am very sure. But what has happened is a Congress scene, which is being now. Manmohan Singh has to face. No, but the so, point is sir, that the CBI has said there is no prosecutable evidence against Manmohan Singh, but no, the court has, said, uh, court has still gone ahead and taken cognizance and called them as accused. How do you respond to that? No, that is what I am saying. It's a legal process on which I will not say anything. But the fact remains that an economist prime minister has to face the CBI inquiry and the court allegation and charge it only because of Congress scam. All right, that was uh, Union Minister Prakash Javrekar uh, saying that it was the BJP which uh, first unearthed or helped in unearthing the coal scam. Atir Khan, our deputy editor, is uh, still with us on the phone line from the national capital. Atir, of course, uh, the summons from the court coming after Dr. Singh was uh, questioned uh, a few weeks earlier. Well, that's right. You know, uh, this is the court's uh, interpretation. And it is based on the, uh, the, the details which have been provided by the CBI. The CBI has been maintaining that there is no, uh, not enough uh, evidence to prosecute 
the people. Uh, but then, uh, of course, the court uh, has summoned them. Uh, they will uh, be present in the court to give their side of the story. The court will obviously you know, will hear their side of the story as to what they have to say. As far as the prime minister, the former prime minister is concerned, it was uh, his portfolio. Uh, and uh, since he was in the office uh, of uh, the coal minister also uh, simultaneously along with the uh, portfolio prime minister, uh, he has been summoned uh, in, the, uh, in the special CBI court. Right. And uh, Arthur, what are the kind of irregularities that we are looking at here? Well, these uh, allegations uh, pertain to, uh, like uh, many other cases, pertain to uh, allocation of coal blocks, uh, the, the Talibara coal block too. Uh, case. Uh, there are several other cases uh, which have been, uh, you know, of similar nature. Uh, but then, uh, of course, uh, the former prime minister will give his side of the story, uh, and other accused have been called uh, in the court. Well, Ayate, thanks so much for that uh, update. We're going to keep coming back to you for more developments, and we'll also keep getting you more political reactions on this big story.